Linked open data. What is it? And why is it good for you as a memory organization? Put yourself in your user's shoes. Say you want to find out about that painting of Venus standing on a shell. You'd probably search on the word Venus. You'll get lots of results. Venus, Venus, Venus. And after a while, you finally reach the right Venus on an individual website. But what if the web service could help you from the start? First, by disambiguating your search, and then by connecting all kinds of relevant information, updated dynamically within the same web space. Well, linked open data makes this possible. Here's how. Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the World Wide Web, asked us to put our information as documents on the web. And so we did. Lots of information today is available on lots of individual websites. And then he saw the next step forward. He asked us to put our information on the web as raw data, because raw data can be linked to other data. That generates connections for the user and puts them in touch with a much richer network of information. But to make that happen, you've got to do four things. First, it helps if your data is openly licensed. If it's not open, it's not easily interoperable. Second, you need to put your data on the web in a certain way so that the connecting links are present in their simplest form. And each of these links is represented using the Resource Description Framework, or RDF, triple, because it's in three parts. And all these triples will interconnect. Third, when they are online, they need a unique address, a uniform resource identifier. Fourth, you need to put them online following the standard web resource protocol, HTTP. And hey presto! your linked open data can be connected to all other linked open data. Creating a rich network of information, making connections you never knew were there, linking knowledge in a way that's never been done before. So why is it good for you and for your users? When other data connects to yours through inbound links, your website rises higher in search engine results and your data is enriched by all those linkages and is more visible but also you and others can easily build applications based on your data and the data of others so you're being found more easily and you're sharing information that's much more complete and the more useful your information is the more visitors you get the more traffic there is the better your web statistics and performance indicators make your trustworthy metadata linked open data while the space is still available you may become the canonical reference point we think this is a win-win situation both for users and for memory organizations. The contract that Europeana has with its data providers, the Europeana Data Exchange Agreement, centers on open licensing as a way to facilitate this. This use of open data has been endorsed by the Europeana Foundation, the professional associations representing our memory organizations, so that all our public sector information contributes to the real power of the web.